let's talk about federations. Let's talk about let's talk about the INF. <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> really? You, you know why? I'm gonna I mean, it's important. I, I think it's something that we we have been silent about, and I think it's time. There's nothing to talk about because basically they don't exist anymore. They exist on paper, and they're not doing anything. So what's there to talk about? Well, well I think that that's important <laughs> to talk about. It's important to talk about why they're not doing what they should be doing and how this could change. So we, we were considering this when we launched our Patreon. Like, should we say like the, there are lots <laughs> our of, tagline. <laughs> there are lots of naturist federations uh, who don't do anything for naturism and who, who get a lot of members. Like, should we come out like, support us, we actually do something for naturism. <laughs> Well, we didn't do it. We didn't, we do, didn't it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why, how we feel. That's how we feel. Why do you think all these institutions have lost their their contact and the value that they've provided to the community? Why? They think they are superior. No. They think they have all the power and and and. But they are they? Is that is that no, true? No, no, no. That's what they think. No, but you have, you have to imagine they exist <clears throat> since the fifties. Mm -hmm. From the 50s until the year 2000, the only way for a nature's business to promote itself was through a federation. Mm -hmm. So basically, they, they, they didn't need marketing. They didn't need, uh, they just, the customers just came to them. And then the internet became mainstream and there were nature's websites and blogs. And they had no idea how to adjust. So they stuck with the old principle and they, all of them lost members. They're, they're, I can imagine, I can think of one federation, only the Dutch federation managed to grow during the last two years, 20 years. And because they adapted. Because they adapted. They went all the way into, uh, into the internet and focusing on the internet and social media and social marketing. And they just changed their, their yeah. whole mission statement. They well, just changed their way of thinking, their way of working, the way that the world was changing. Yeah. Basically, yeah. They, they evolved. And that's something ah. that a lot of other institutions have, have not only failed, but have done everything in their power to not, not to. evolve. Yeah, yeah. It, it goes in, in different ways. Like, I'm not saying that everybody, every federation has to go all the way on social media, no. because it's not going to work either but they have to adjust to the times mm -hmm. and put the right people in front. Like British naturism, uh, they are growing. Mm -hmm. They're doing a growing. great job. But yeah. the, the, last, the last six months they've been online all the time. They had five uh, sessions a week or something like that. They I grow. Think, I think they have a session a week or something. And it's also yeah. the, the yeah. Irish yeah. Federation. I think the yeah. Irish Federation is doing a yeah. lot of- The Irish Federation is also doing a great job. Yeah. But there are a few. Yeah. It's like we were, you were in the session with, uh, uh, about the beaches in uh, North America. Ireland. No. Um, and I asked the question, like, uh, Martin, he's in a couple of groups, like one of, one of those beaches, the other one is uh, Florida Free Beaches. Martin's they, all over the place. <laughs> they, but he's they, everywhere. They train people to take care of nude beaches. Like, they know how to... They train people how to how to see like something is going on and stuff like that, and it works really really well. Mm -hmm. And then I ask like, why doesn't Enter adapt this? There's a blueprint. They have the blueprint. You don't have to. They just have to uh, adapt water. it yeah. and put it <laughs> into places. Like, nobody knew the answer. But it, I mean, everyone knows the answer. They're just being politically correct and they don't want to say it. But I mean, let's be honest. The reason why Enter isn't adopting this is because there is no business model behind it that they can profit off of. And uh, there's, no, there's no problem with profit. The problem is that their model is built off of profiting without providing value. No, no, this, the thing is that they don't realize because other members are growing older. If you look at the, the other, other is focused on resorts. If you look at the resorts, people are growing older and older. If you look at the beaches and the, and the hot springs, there are lots of young people. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely, there's, there's the biggest business model is into going towards the beaches, but they don't realize because the there's no immediate is, money. 
the thing is they don't understand that if you grow public nudity places, you grow also private nudity places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's an indirect it's profit. Indirect. Yeah. Of course. And that's something that definitely happened in Mexico. As soon as the Cipolita Festival took off, naturism naturally exploded because mm -hmm more and more people found out about it, had the opportunity to experience it, go back home, and they don't want to wait until next year or in six months that, before they could return and have another nude experience. Mm -hmm. They want to have options around where they live, and yeah. that creates the need to start more communities, and the federations have a platform and legitimacy that they can use to connect and build mm -hmm. those communities. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a chain of value that you're providing mm -hmm. that you can profit off of. Mm -hmm. Federation, it's, it's probably going to take a while, but if the Mexican Federation continues to go in that direction, I'm sure that in several years, we're going to have thousands of members and that's going to be profitable for the institution. Yeah. yeah. Well, a couple of years ago, um, at the time, I thought that the, the goal of the Federation was to... Uh, create more naturists. So I was talking to uh, the president of the Belgian Federation and he was talking about uh, promotion, promotions they were doing and they were going to the nude beach. And I was thinking like, why are you going to the nude beach? Those people are already naturists. You don't have to convince them. Yeah. But he said they are not members of the Federation yet. So their goal is to gain more members. Mm -hmm. It's not really, of course, their goal is also to gain more naturists, but at first it's gain more members. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get members to a federation, you go to a nude beach. And that's, it's a, it's a lot, the logic behind it is interesting, but it's also, it's something, something like, I know doesn't, doesn't really get like, there's so much potential in the nude mm -hmm. beaches. We went to Florida, we went all the, all the naturist places we've been to, we were the youngest by mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. We go to Black's Beach mm -hmm. and we meet lots of people like that are our, our age. Like, why don't you go to the resorts? Yeah, the resorts and you have to get membership. And, and it's stuff. expensive. And it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where their focus should be. Yeah, we should focus on lowering the the cost of entry, the entry yeah. barriers. The easier it is. I mean, at the end of the day, if you if you're able to get more people to want to go to a certain place there's going to be profit around it. It's not going, maybe you, you probably, it's probably not a good idea to charge the entrance fee, but mm -hmm. you can provide services. You could provide yeah. value. Extra you can do value. a lot of things. Yeah. Of course. And making money is important and it's something that we always have to talk about, but it's only, it's only sustainable if you do it through value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. And if the federations understood that and, and they would work more on creating these public places, people would see value in what they're doing. If I see that a federation is responsible for having three, four, five, six nude beaches, I'm going to want to support that mm -hmm. yeah. because I like having more options of nude beaches. Mm -hmm. But if I, if I see that it's this really difficult club system in which you have to first get a membership, a $50 Eighty dollar mm -hmm. membership. It's 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 really expensive. You get the membership in order to have a discount or being able to enter to a place where the ambience is not something that you're interested in. So it makes no sense for you to pay so much money and not get in return something that you like well, or that you're looking yeah, for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And going to a, a nude beach is not free. People yeah. think that it's free. It's not free. You're paying indirectly, but mm -hmm. It, it gives you the opportunity of meeting more people that are within your same demographic. But that again, creates needs. People need to have services and products around that. And that's something that is not being taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And that's a movement we've seen a lot in, uh, in Europe in the last couple of years. Like before, um, when you wanted to go to a nature's resort, you had to be a member of a federation. So the federation pushes that idea on the resorts and they say, okay, you can be affiliate, affiliated with us, but you have to, every, everyone who comes here has to become a member. So they have to charge membership fees. And then some resorts said, whatever, I don't need the marketing yeah. from the nature federation. Because I'm going to do my own thing do and I'm not going to charge membership fees. So people who come for the first time don't have to pay $50. It's just entrance fee for the room. 
and that's it. Yeah. And they started to flourish. And the other federations just didn't do anything. So they uh, moved behind. They are now a friends as the fe federation of commercial naturist uh, 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 campgrounds, mm -hmm. which is next. And they have more members than the official French federation. Yeah. <laughs> Just because pe people want to go to the commercial places, they are cool. They're, they don't have to pay fees. It's just everybody, everything is inclusive. And actually, it's it's more expensive than going to the clubs. Mm -hmm. yeah. but it's it's but, smarter. Yeah. And that's what I was talking about. The thing is, is <coughs> money is important, but it's not the only factor if you're providing value. People mm -hmm. are willing to pay more, yeah. but they're, they're getting way more in return. Yeah. And that's our generation. We are... We are the generation Y, and we are the typical generation that works hard, hard plays hard. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we have most of people our age have jobs, they have families, they work a lot, and then the free, the limited free time they have, they don't want to paint a wall, they don't want to yeah. cut a hedge, they just yeah. want, want to put money on the table and entertain me. Yeah, yeah, That's, and that has a lot to do with the volunteer base of the community, since they're well, not since the clubs are not profitable, they rely on people volunteering. But if mm -hmm. someone wants to go to a club, they want to go to relax, to meet people, yeah. to interact. Yeah. They don't want to go cut grass and paint fences. Well, the, the idea is, it's, it's an old idea. Mm -hmm. and it, it, worked, it worked perfectly 30, 40, 50 years ago, but it doesn't, it's not working anymore. Do you it's, think these institutions something. will eventually understand what they're doing wrong? Or do you think that they're condemned to disappear and maybe new institutions take their place? I, I'm afraid that the latter will happen. Yeah. I, I, hope, I hope that they will realize and change their way of working, mm -hmm. but I'm afraid that it's not gonna happen. And but then the question is who will? Because it's gonna be business mm -hmm. and it's, gonna be, it's, it's, pro, it's very possible that the big organization is gonna mm -hmm. Put, push money in, into it and take it over. Of course, and, and it's, it's very easy. That's, that's going to be something that's going to be very easy to happen. I, I still can't forget when we were in the World Congress and one of the federations said out loud that what is, what is a smartphone? Mm. It's like we were, we were yeah. talking about the idea of having an app that could, you know, people could use to find places to book them to, you know, ever, all the needs through the app. And yeah. this federation, I don't want to say who it was, raises their hand and says, what is a smartphone? Mm. And I think that's, that represents how the INF is currently. And the, the worst case of that whole thing was that it was a member of the board. It was not only a member of the of the federation and who is part of the INF. It was a member of a federation who was sitting in the board of the INF and the board that is, yeah, there for matrism. Um, and that was, yeah, I think that was the point when I left uh, because I, I think another thing. Another thing that really upset me about that experience, it's funny because I remember that when we, when we went, we heard stories that it was, that it wasn't, you know, the best. People prepared us for it. People for the, tried for the, to prepare us, but yeah, we yeah, were not yeah. ready for what we saw. No, we were not ready <laughs> at all. No, no. And we were super optimistic. I, we I remember that. Like, we were like, yeah, okay. And okay, people say it's bad and blah, blah, blah. And we have to be prepared. But hey, we are young and we have ideas and let's do it and let's go for it. And yeah. And boom. Bam. Yeah. 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 So another thing that I was shocked is how the board did everything in their power in order for the room to be cold and no one to want to take their clothes off. Yep. Yeah, and also not uh, that they did everything in their power that people who were there with actual ideas to and answers to their questions that they were like, oh yeah, no, you are not part of the INF. You, you are not allowed to talk, but we had the answers and to their well, question. It was, uh, it was great yeah. when they asked the question, like, okay, next topic, how can we bring more youth into naturism? Yeah. We were sitting there, you were sitting there. Yeah. 
not a word was uh, because we had we had no right to talk yeah. so instead of asking us they just discussed this with a bunch of uh, seven year olds how are we going to bring new pe young people to nature and then and then that's what where they we said, said okay you remember what they said yeah. Yeah, they approved. You it's approved. Yeah, 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 we can't do it. Next no, topic. It's not, not going to work. Yeah, next topic. Yeah. That was it. And then the app was introduced. And then the question, eh, what's a smartphone? And then, and then all of a sudden it was like, okay, let's don't talk about this topic anymore. Questions, questions. Yeah, no, have to the next topic. That was, that was the most crazy thing of all of it, what happened. But that, that's, that's the difficulty with our job. We approach organizations like that and we say like okay we can help you build a social and online presence it's going to be beneficial for you pay us but it's going to be beneficial for both because you pay us so for us it's monetary for you you get a bigger presence you're going to get more members but we, we present that idea to people who ask what is a smartphone yeah and that talks about how distant the institution is from reality and from the needs. And I don't mind if they embrace the fact that they only represent a very small group. Mm -hmm. If they embrace that, then that's fine. But they're presented as international institutions yeah. Yeah. that aim to promote and grow and include. And mm -hmm. the other thing is the INF is very, very Eurocentric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has... Wow. It has no influence and no impact outside of Europe. But and even in money. Europe, it's that's concentrated. For them. It's such a powerful yeah. thing. It's, yeah. You feel it as soon as you talk to yeah. these people. It's, yeah. like, it's all about power. Yeah. And the power, the power and the money is in Europe, so they don't yeah. care oh. a single bit about anything. But even in Who Europe. Who are you, you little boy from Mexico and yeah. your little federation? Yeah. Who are you? You're not, you were yeah. not even allowed to talk. And you were the president of the Mexican Federation. Can you imagine? How, a well, couple, couple of hundreds of members. Yeah. Which money are you going to bring? Yeah, who are you, no. little one? Yeah, go away. <laughs> So Which is funny because right now they're going through an election or the, the election was supposed to already take place, but because of COVID, it wasn't possible. And they're doing everything in their power to maintain the same people who have the same views, who are not interested. Mm -hmm. who, frankly, I mean, I don't know what they're doing there. And I'm, I would say I don't know how they're still there, but it's, they have, they're in charge of a really tedious process that makes no one want to participate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And well, there is, I think these institutions are important, but if they don't step up to the occasion, I'm not gonna miss them if they disappear. No, but the thing is, they do more bad things for naturism than good things. things. So we, we had, we've been promoting naturism for the last four years. And several times we thought, when, when we see something like a, a news bulletin from a INF, we think like, all the work we've done for the last year, they just make it disappear. Yeah. In one post or In one, one post is, comment. Or one, um, we don't need them to support us, yeah. but at least try to bring out a positive message no. about naturism. No, not, not even that. No. No, huge, there's... Huge they did a reorganization of with the with the Facebook group, and they had thousands of members in that group, and now they have one hundred and sixty mm. members. In but I don't, if I don't remember correctly, I think the person who was asking about smartphones was elected social media. Right. <gasps> you're right, Hector. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And so they elected her as social media representative. They had a thousand two hundred uh, mm -hmm. followers Something or so. Like, no, in in the group, it yeah. was in in the group, not on the page. Yeah, but yeah. thousand two hundred members of the yeah. group. Within two weeks, she managed to reduce reduce it to a uh, hundred twenty or something. Yeah, and now she's like, at one sixty, and that's uh, like, two years. Really? Yeah. Is that your job? Like reduce? <laughs> she was never elected because of her capability. She was elected because she's faithful to the group that controls the INF. Of course, that's a... And I think this is something that we have avoided talking about. And I, I don't like talking negative about anything because I feel like it's, you can invest energy in destroying or in creating. 
but it's very important for people to understand that this institution has history, has legitimacy, has resources, has a wide, a wide network internationally. It has, they have everything that they need in order to make a meaningful impact. And yeah. they're not doing anything that provides value. No. Mm -hmm. And that's the sad thing that yeah. there's yeah. so much opportunity and it's being yeah. wasted. Yeah. That's and we don't say that they have to work with us or with you or no. any influence around naturism. We don't say that. But the thing is, we do, we create because we, we create from in here and we create from in our hearts and we truly believe that the world needs to know about naturism and we truly believe that it's an awesome lifestyle and we need to tell it to the world you do the same we we are creators because we love it and and we do it with our heart and with our passion and that's the reason why we do what we do the inf is not that kind of organization anymore it it was created uh, when the same purpose they were influencers back in back 50 years ago there were the huge influencers they are they were the youtubers from that world because they were spreading a message from their heart and with very good intentions but it's time to move on and the thing is it's not time to move on it's time for them to see that they're not creating anymore they're not um they're not advocates of naturism anymore they're there for the power for the money and for the status and that is a pity because the inf is a very very um um yeah it, it's it's a powerful institution if yeah. you do it correctly and if you do it with the with the with the correct mindset I think it, um, has, it has potential to be a very powerful and meaningful institution it was it was a very it was, powerful, but it, yeah it no longer is not, not, not anymore because those people who are now in charge they don't do it for for the sake of it they don't do it with their hearts they're there for for i yeah for the power and because they're there and because they can say with their friends that they are the president of the inf or that they are the treasurer or the uh, of the inf i don't know what their reason is why they still do it because let's be honest if you see them sitting there they're all sitting there with with their face on the ground they don't have any passion anymore they they are not enthusiastic anymore they don't have the love for naturism anymore they don't even take their clothes off in a room full of naturists. But okay, besides that, you don't need to take off your clothes in a room with naturists if you don't want to. I, that's not the point. But if you are the board of the International Naturist Federation, at least, at least you have to do it with your heart. And, and yeah, that's, that's the key. And that passion is long gone, long gone. And it has nothing to do with age, to be honest. You can mm -hmm. be 80 years of old course. and, and have passion. And, and, and you have, we have a lot of people online, and not even online, who are promoters of naturism, who are 80 years old. That the age is really not the case, but it's what comes from in here. And that is so frustrating, frustrating. And that's why I am super, yeah, you know, you know me, I'm all and uh, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, it's it, we do it with all our love and all the power that we have. And then you see them sitting there like a bag of potatoes. And I'm like, what the fuck, really? I that is how we were, how we you were to, how you want to, yeah, oh, yeah. We were and, that, after that. and that's making me so angry, really. I've never <laughs> seen, I've never seen Linz so. <laughs> so absent. Uh, so not allowed to come anymore to the no. official, official federation meetings. Uh, yeah. When I'm we were when we were in Portugal during this meeting, I like when we first arrived, we were all super energetic and excited yeah. and yeah. happy and motivated. Yeah. And then as the days go on, like our motivation was just. Phew. I think at the end of this event, it was like we're done with this institution we were empty 
they sucked all the life out of us. And if you suck the life out of me and you put it into yourself and you want to have, steal my energy to do something with my energy, I'm fine with that. I'm a giver. I don't mind. Take it and create something and do something with it. But they just stole all my energy and all my and enthusiasm and everything and they did nothing with it. They spit on it. And yeah. The, the problem is their, their history and their, uh, the fact that they are there are very important. Yes, it, absolutely. If you, if you look at your organization now, I think we have like 20 times as many followers uh, or readers online than the INF. Members. To, to us, and they don't really mean a lot when it comes to promotion of naturism. Yeah. But in the old-fashioned way, they are still a recognized institution. Yeah. And for example, if uh, some town in Mexico, if people want a new nude beach, and the mayor says no, and the INF sends somebody, like somebody who came all the way from Germany to some town in Mexico, to talk with the mayor. It means something. From the International no, Naturist sure. Organization, the mayor will think twice. Definitely. And, and that's something, it's, there's, there's a huge power yeah. behind that. Yeah. It's something that, that's something they don't do. But it's, there's so it's, many it's, topics that they could be working on. Like for example, yeah. online censorship. And it's something that uh, Spencer Tunick picked up and created um, an organization behind it that was representing artists mm -hmm. when Instagram was taking down the pictures yeah. of art and things like that. It's like, where's the INF? And why is the INF yeah. not on this? It's like, yeah. you guys should be representing this movement. Yeah. Yeah. It's an institution yeah. that's, that exists since 50, 1952. If they would make an official statement and send it to CNN, BBC, they would all publish it. Yeah, of Certainly. course. And it's like, where, where are, are you? you? Where are you? Like, so, yeah. So the INF is important. And we, we are the ones making noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I think there's hope. There. Yeah. Yeah. I hope yeah. there's hope. Yeah. yeah. There's hope. There's an election going on that they have moved to March. And yeah. there is a really good candidate that we know, that I respect and admire, that I think is probably the most important, or at least for me was the most inspirational leader in naturism, who is Stefan Deshines. I think for everybody. Stefan was part of the INF. He was forced almost to resign because of how horrible things were, and still are, and maybe became worse ever since. And he's running for president. And I think he has, I hope he has, I hope they allow him to win because I don't know if it's good to say this or not, but there's a lot of suspicion that in the previous election, they stole the presidency. There's a lot of that saying. I, I, I'd recommend people to look further into that, but there's definitely an illegitimacy. And if they, if they did that once, I fear that they could do it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially when there's personal interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The president it has personal interests, financial interests in keeping the Federation the way that it is because she's monetarily benefiting from it. Mm -hmm. But then it's up to the influencers. I was just, oh my God, I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't know. And, and, and <laughs> so it's it's a good thing. In 2016, there were no naturist influencers, so the, <laughs> the board could do whatever they want. No, yeah. Nobody would ever know. Yeah. Now there are quite some. Yeah. And we, we could we could put it out. We like, can say whatever we want. If you keep supporting, uh, if your na naturist federation keeps supporting the INF, they support a malicious uh, mm -hmm. organization. Mm -hmm. So we advise you to tell your federation to stop supporting the INF. Mm -hmm. Well, let's first try the... Yeah, let's first try the winner. <laughs> let's try and see if uh, Stefan has the opportunity to, to lead this institution. I'm pretty sure Stefan will... He understands... I mean, he's the creator of the Nature's Living show, so he understands the importance of mm -hmm. creating content, communicating online... You know, he has a, a, I think, an advertising company and so on. So yeah. he, he, he's not young, but he's very progressive minded when it comes to, you know, 
getting with the times. And, and he's doing it from in here. Yeah. And he's always done it from his heart. He, yeah. he doesn't depend on it. He doesn't rely on it. He, I think we need someone like that in, in this institution. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Of all the people in the world, he is our preferred candidate for mm -hmm. president of the INF. Mm. Yeah. I, I try to be neutral. I didn't want to talk about the U.S. election until it was over. Um, <laughs> but I think this is really important and we have to support people that will allow these institutions to provide value, grow and survive. Because the alternative is, okay, so this is going to be the last time that I try to do anything with the INF. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I'm going to try to participate. I would love to be part of this if, it, if, it, if Stefan wins. Yeah. But if this doesn't work, I'm going to focus all of my time and energy in creating an alternative that does provide value. Absolutely. And I'm sure that a lot of people are going to follow along. Mm -hmm. That means that this institution will eventually disappear. Mm -hmm. And that's a and shame. It's, sad. it's yeah. a sad thing. Yeah. It's a shame. I would hate that yeah. to happen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And the thing is, if they keep things like they are now, they're going to disappear anyway. Mm -hmm. So no, but it doesn't, doesn't make a difference. No, but I, it's like you said before, the world needs an INF. Um, we yep. need an INF. Yeah. It would be great um, to, keep, to keep the institution yeah, because yeah. It's, it's a big name and it's a big yeah. it's a response, a opportunity to mm -hmm. have behind it. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No, yeah. And yeah. then you have to move on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a shame.